hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cindy if you're new here welcome if you want to know how to make this dude see red snapper stick around so let's get to the recipe so I am using this red snapper I don't know why they call it snapper. I should be pink snapper. So I'm gonna and I'm gonna make those two with shrimp too. So go ahead and clean your snapper. Mine's already clean. I have the I had them clean it over there. All I'm gonna be doing is really washing it with lime vinegar, um, and then devein the shrimp. Make sure you do that and then remove the skin, the shells. I meant. Okay, and then rinse and then we know we're gonna go ahead and prepare, seasoned actually. So now I've already cleaned my shrimp, my fish and shrimp, like I said, with vinegar and lime. So make sure you rub it and get that funk out. So I'm gonna go ahead and marry my fish with a piece, of lots of it, because we want we're gonna season the crap out of this. Okay, we're gonna season it to the bone. So I added my piece and I added ground black pepper, of course. I always like to grab my own pepper, some Creole seasoning, some nor chicken bouillon. Bong yang, bong yang. <laughs> you guys, I'm a, I'm a fool, okay? I'm a fool, and I'm not ashamed. I'm actually not ashamed, not at all. I am not ashamed. Anyways, so now let's add some Old Bay. Old Bay. Imagine if I speak like that in all my videos, though. That's messed up. <laughs> all right. So, and now we're gonna add, of course, some seafood seasoning. And so, listen, I always cook with this. I don't know. It's all, it says all purpose, okay? So it's all purpose. So I always do because I love it. And some orange juice, bitter. Make sure it's sour. I don't know why they call it bitter, but it's sour orange juice. But I'm gonna be technical because, you know, <laughs> and some lime juice because we want that acidity. We're cooking fish, so we need the maximum acidity in that, you know, in that dish, okay? So go ahead and marinate. Make sure you like you know I wasn't I know I should have used my hand most of the time. That's what we really do. But I don't really like using I don't like wearing gloves and I don't like using my hands. Um anyways, it's a long story, but that's gonna be a story for a different day. So make sure you get that seasoning that marinade inside of the fish. Like so spoon it, scoop it, and put it in there, like in there, and let it marinate overnight. Yes, let it marinate overnight. So let's go ahead and make the sauce. So anyway, my spot looked like because I added um, vegetable oil but I wanted to make it with olive oil so go ahead and add your olive oil in the pan a good amount don't be stingy and the tomato paste so when it gets hot I'm using medium high heat so we're gonna fry the tomato paste for like a minute or two and what we're trying to do we're trying to dissolve it and this is the Haitian way of dissolving our tomato paste we fry it while we're frying it we're adding water in it little by little until Everything just melts, everything just dissolves, it's just like a nice smooth broth, okay? No little tomato pieces of tomato, none of that, none of that, none of that, okay? So yes, I say okay a lot because I don't know, I guess it's the Haitian in me. Because I do notice other Haitians speak like that too. You know, with that thick ass accent, and I was like, okay, okay guys, okay, okay, okay. Like, it's just like our favorite word. <laughs> Anyways, after you added your liquid, all the tomato paste is dissolved, and you added your water. And now we're gonna go ahead and transfer the fish. So we're cooking the fish first because the fish takes a little bit longer than the shrimp to cook. Listen, if you wanna eat rubber, go ahead and cook your shrimp now. But if you don't, I highly suggest that you wait and you put it when I tell you to. Okay? Alright, so put the fish in. And then we're gonna add that little, you know, marinade because we want the fish out of the flavor. We're not gonna add too much because this fish is very seasoned. It's seasoned, okay? It's well seasoned. Yes. Like black people see like Haitian type of seasoning I'm talking about. So I add a little bit of more water for the stew because I want the sauce. Which I added kind of too much. Oh my god. I'm not perfect, you guys. Okay, like I said, I never went to culinary school. I learned from YouTube University and my family. So yes. So excuse me while I make mistakes. Anyways, I added some fresh thyme, some fresh parsley, 
some bay leaves, scotch bonnet pepper because why would you not eat fish spicy? Like, I don't understand it. And some cloves, of course, some bitter orange juice and cover it, let it come to a boil. Now that it's boiling, I'm gonna check it. No, we do not stir fish. No, we don't. You shake it. You shake it to make sure that it doesn't stick from the bottom. That's how you do it, you know? You shake it. You do not, if you stir it, listen, you're not making fish anymore. You're making gumbo now at this point. Like, you're making stew. Wait, that is a stew. Never mind. So I tasted it and I feel like it need a little bit more zazz. So I add a little bit more sparkling in it. I added some um, adobo and some all that over chicken. And I could have just added salt, but you know, <laughs> that's the basic. <laughs> basic is not in my blood. I'm Haitian, sweetie. Like, we're exaggerated. We're like, we're extra. Anyway, so after that, I covered it and I added some more butter. Or not some more. I added some lily butter, some timalis butter. Because what I had, you can use any, any butter, but I just I just wanna be, I just feel like you know it's just the Haitian in me. So now listen, after you had the fish right, you let it cook for about five to seven to seven minutes. And after that, when it's boiled, you're gonna go ahead and add the shrimp. And when you add the shrimp, sweetie, listen, let it cook for like a minute or two. Because shrimp don't take that long to cook. Like three, five minutes max, depending on the size, obviously. And then after I added my shrimp, I quickly added my bell peppers and my onion because you don't take that long, you know. And so go ahead and cover it and let it cook for like three. Let it cook for like three minutes on medium high heat still. And then after that three minutes, just turn off your heat because it's done. Because if you leave it for too long, the shrimp is gonna be overcooked. And it's gonna be like hard to. It's gonna just gonna be like eating rubber, straight up plastic. I mean, I'm, we've been eating plastic all our lives anyway, so it's not like <laughs> it matters anyways. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So this is it, you guys. Um, if you like this video, I know my vegetables are a little bit overcooked, but that's none of your business. You're not eating it. So, yeah. Do it, like, however you want it. Um, yeah, subscribe, because why not? <laughs> What, okay, like, why would you not want to support a black woman? Like, why would you not want to support a black, a young Haitian black girl trying to make it out there? Like, subscribe, like this video, it helps me. It helps me, it helps you, it helps the Haitian community, it helps America, it helps the whole world. So, subscribe and like this video. I'm tired of you guys not liking my shit. Like, stop liking shit. Anyways, thank you, bye. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.